welcome Simon Pegg and David Schwimmer. You say either, I say either, neither, either, neither, neither. Let's go the whole thing on. Let's go the whole thing on. Back on the show. Put yourself down. Here you go. Okay. How lovely to have Simon Pegg and David Schwimmer here, two of the funniest and nicest men. It's been my pleasure to meet professionally. I've no idea what they're like in real life, but certainly <laughs> uh, they're lovely here. Um, now, how, how have you guys been together? You, you've, you were working on this movie, but did you know each other previously, or was this the, the beginning of a beautiful relationship? How, how did this happen? Uh, we did um, <laughs> Band of Brothers together in, in, a while ago. Of course, yeah. yeah. And then, um, but then we, we ended up doing a film together last year called Big Nothing, which is coming out on, uh, next week. And... Uh, and then, coincidentally, are now doing another film together. So we just can't seem to stay apart for some reason. Yeah. So you obviously enjoy working together. I mean, it's yeah, yeah. We had a good time on Band of Brothers, and then yep. even more fun on uh, Big Nothing. Um, I mean, cause that was a comedy, so we uh, we got to play a little more. And then, uh, yeah, this script, this other script came along that I was attached to direct and. Simon loved it, so now I'm, I'm directing it and he's acting in it, so... Now you, obviously, you would have been aware of David's work because who, who hasn't seen Friends? I mean, That's what I know you from! <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's been bugging me for months! <laughs> Do you, were you aware of um, Simon's work when you first met him? Had well, you he seen made Space me Stop? aware of it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, was, watch this! <laughs> we're on just before you on Friday night. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, I was. I mean, Shaun of the Dead, I, I loved it and all my friends saw it in the States and, um, and I own it. I do own it, just yeah. so you know. You know and, when uh, you say you own it, you, you own a DVD or yeah. you bought the actual film? He has more money from it than I do. Just <laughs> <laughs> a DVD. And, um, and then, yeah, when we were working on Big Nothing, he, uh, he told me about Spaced, which uh, just in the States I was not as aware of. And so I went out and bought the DVD. And, and, and did you like Spaced? What did you think of Spaced? I still haven't watched it, but I think... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, 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 it's great, it's great. But now you're working on, is it called Run Fatty Run? Run... <laughs> What's it, called? Is that, it should be called that. What's it called? Run Fat Boy Run. One yeah. Fat Boy Run. Oh, yeah. like One Fatty One is so much sillier. <laughs> oh, forgive me, yeah. Oh, who would call a, a film One Fatty One? <laughs> one Fat Boy Run? Yeah. That's classy. <laughs> One fat boy rum. Yeah. Um, uh, and of course you're directing this. So now, yeah. what is the shift in the relationship right now? How, how different is that? To it's not it? that different actually. Uh, we still kind of uh, pitch each other ideas for, you know, for what's going to be the funniest way to do it. Um, and because Simon did the rewrite as well, I mean, we, we both have a, a pretty clear idea of what we want to accomplish. And, uh, it's interesting actually. It's very different. When you're actors together and it's not your project, you, you know, you f you're like a, a kid at school in a way and, and, you know, everyone else is taking care of it. When you're... I, I've seen a different side to David as a director because he's kind of suddenly in control of everything and it's, uh, it's interesting. You're, you're kind of more serious and uh, less fun. <laughs> but do you... <laughs> <laughs> have you changed, do you think, Simon? I'm going to ask you as well, David, because when I first have met you... you, Simon, have you well, he, he, yeah. was a, he was a struggling or... young comedian, a young comic actor, and now he's, what, Mission Impossible 3? He's also a lot thinner than you saw in the clip. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have lost a bit of weight. Yeah, you lost a bit of weight, but it looks like it's creeping back on, if you don't mind me saying. Thank you. <laughs> one, one fat boy, fat one. Boy <laughs> Are you the fat boy in the film? Yes. You, uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but has he, have you noticed any change in, you know, has he become more demanding as None a performer, whatsoever. as a person? No, no. good, good, I'm pleased no. to hear that. Would you let him know if he did? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I'd be the first to let him know, actually. Yeah. Mm, OK. okay. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Question? That was comment. a blind alley. Don't f start. <laughs> You're not on Friends anymore, you know. I can get you replaced quite easily. <laughs> hey, now. Yeah. In the film, uh, Big Nothing, yeah. Mr. Pegg pulls off quite an unusual feat and quite a rare feat, I think. Uh, you do a very convincing American accent. You know, and that's a kind of pet peeve of mine, because a lot of the time you'll see British actors and British performers in American films, and they don't really nail it, and I find that a bit awkward. Were you, you were doing an accent? <laughs> that was a joke, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was nearly a joke. But <laughs> it's very good. He, he accomplishes it. Now, did, did you help him, or did you get training somewhere else, or did you just pick that up from watching shows? We had you? a dialect coach on set called Judith. Who well, she was, did a great job. Yeah, she was amazing, and she'd come and whisper after a take, you, that vowel's too short or whatever. And, and it was ne it's very hard, because you've got to concentrate on doing an accent and acting. He, yeah. All he had to do was act, because yeah. he's American. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, it was harder for me and Alice. <laughs> it's easier for Americans, isn't yeah. it? And it's so much easier. Uh, have you ever mastered the British accent, David? No. <laughs> <laughs> do it, go on. No, no. I, I believe, like no, no didn't you? Really. You had to do it, didn't you? Didn't you have to... You had to did you not have to do uh, a British accent at some stage in your career? Yeah, I mean, when I did, uh, I did a play by Stephen Burkhoff uh, years ago. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, and and, uh, and so yes, I did Cockney and, 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 at that time. Oh, you did a bit of Cockney. Yeah. And uh, well, how long ago were we talking, David? That was about uh, what fourteen years ago. I'm sure it's like riding a bike. I bet it's, you never it, forget. It's actually, interestingly, not. Okay. <laughs> Just for the sake of comparison. It's like riding a penny farthing, ain't it, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's not as good as your American. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Cockney's harder than we think. No, David, come uh, on, we need a no, little no, bit. I don't really, let it Don't make, don't make him. him. He hates it. It's bullying, David. Listen to that. You can't let him down. No, uh, no, but there's one line from uh, Quadrophenia, <laughs> from Quadrophenia that I, I love, which is, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, he, so does this, <laughs> <laughs> he does this little thing with his nose where he goes like, oh, <laughs> I, I don't want to be like everybody else. Uh, what, what the hell was that? <laughs> What was that? <laughs> okay, uh, so so you're currently directing one fat boy one. You're, yeah. you're or run fatty run. One fatty one, <laughs> which, which you might because, because yeah, honest, it's, it's, good. it's catchy. I like it. Yeah. Um, uh, but what do you do? It's kind of long term. Do you guys plan ahead? Do you think okay, this one's going to be happening now? I'm already committed to the next project, or is it kind of like pretty much piecemeal? Well. Uh, I mean, honestly, when you're directing, it's about a year of your life. I mean, I think Simon has stuff lined up afterwards, but I'm going to be working on this for the next six months, probably, easily. And, and, so. you, and you're living over here now in the UK? Yeah, I've been doing? here about four months, and uh, we've got two more weeks of shooting, and then there's post-production, which will be through April. Or but so. David, you, you see, I think you've spent quite a fair time over here, because last yeah. time you came on the show, you were performing in the I was doing a play last thing. summer, yeah. Uh, so you were here for a considerable time here, yeah? then you shot this movie in the Isle of Man before that, I guess. Yep. Uh, now you're working again, so you, you're pretty much based here more or less full time, aren't you? Yeah, the last two years I've been here more than anywhere else. And do you find uh, uh, British people to be less attractive than those in America? And I'm thinking specifically of you spent time in California, and as we know, attractiveness is indeed <laughs> at a premium there. Oh, no, I'm not going to help you. Do you think, I mean, obviously, compared to the two of you, we can see Americans are more attractive, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm talking generally. Well, you know it's true, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying anything that you wouldn't hear on the Jeremy Kyle show. <laughs> You watch that, by the way? Never. Oh, it's f***ing <laughs> dynamite. <laughs> uh, but do, do other things you miss from the US? I mean, genuinely? Uh, n no, not really. Well, okay, there's one thing. Uh, no, see, this is bad. You shouldn't complain. Uh, you know, I'm a guest here, so. But the one thing, sometimes like the service here is different mm. than in America. But David, like, just am think. I right, Ooh. you guys? Ooh. Only David. because I was a waiter for seven years in the states, so I, I know what good service David, is. David, just think how much better the service you'll get will be now you've said that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were talking about attractiveness early on, and, and David was saying he, he doesn't think Simon's that attractive. I, uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> but David was recently voted. I don't know if you're aware of this. World's sexiest Jewish man. Did you know about this part? <laughs> You're looking at the sexiest Jewish gentleman on the planet, according to it's a website called, I think it's called something, <laughs> someonejewish.com. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or something like that, possibly in Yiddish. Uh, yeah. I, are you familiar with this uh, poll? Uh, Have you been? I mean, you, no, your guys yeah. backstage let me know that. We're I excited know. to find this out. You want to know who was, uh, who was number two in no, second place? No, see, no. You want to know who was number two? They told me this too. It's Woody Allen. Woody I mean, Allen. <laughs> A I mean, it's, not, it's not that, yeah. Not I, was, uh, I was number eight in the, uh, in the agnostic poll. Which is, <laughs> which is some feat, I uh, believe me. But, you know, it must be kind of weird because uh, you, you have been on those polls for a while. And you are, right? You are a sexually attractive man. Thank There's you, a certain, sir, He has a charisma. You. Do you want me to leave? Because yeah, I yeah. could. <laughs> um, but is it a weird thing to find people talking about you in that way and uh, indeed objectifying you? On television, you to yes. <laughs> Lifting your face. Uh, but it must be kind of strange to deal with that sort of thing. I don't think it. Come on. <laughs> no one thinks about it. I don't think about it. You don't and, wake up and think and I'm looking like a very sexy Jewish man today? <laughs> you? Maybe number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, you are very much a nerdy kind of guy. And I mean that in a great way, in a good way, in the way that I would consider myself a nerdy kind Absolutely, of guy. Absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. I know you love the kind of popular culture that for many years was divided. You've yes. uh, long been a fan of that kind of thing. Uh, is David someone who shares... Our, our geeky. I, I don't think he's made. Uh, you're not as geeky as myself and Jonathan about comics no. and stuff. But we did. I mean, we were. Hang on a second. That looked like you were <laughs> judging us there. <laughs> as our present for uh, for the beginning of Run Fat Boy Run, David bought myself Hank Azaria and this little young boy Matthew Fenton, who plays my son. He bought us all a lightsaber. That's a lovely gift. Did you buy one for yourself as well? I did. He, did. he got the double-ended Darth Maul as well, which yeah. is... That's a pretty good one to have. And do you have games? Have you played with them? Oh, yeah. We beheaded the child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you 
like me, are you a little bit disappointed that they hadn't actually bought a real one out yet? Absolutely, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and you would use it, wouldn't you? I've, I'd cut stuff up with it, yeah. I, I'd, use, I'd use it to tell the dogs off. <laughs> just if they <laughs> stop scratching. <laughs> I, I, just, I just give you a little haircut. Just... Listen, <laughs> he's really laying into the hair <laughs> I'm going to try my American accent now. <laughs> that's why uh, it's a polite way of doing it. All right, now, Hot Fuzz, you mm. mentioned. Yes. Uh, I'm very excited about this. Uh, yeah. Like David here, I'm a big fan of Shaun of the Dead. I'm sure if you saw it, you love Shaun of the Dead. The yeah. first rom com zom. Rom zom com. Rom zom com, okay, correct me if you must. Um, <laughs> and Hot Fuzz has a similar creative team, but it's in no, no way a sequel, is it? What is Hot no. Fuzz about? It's a, it's a kind of, uh, a, a, we, we, we tried to do for the, um, for the sort of police action genre what we did for the zombie film in Shaun of the Dead. So it's, it's almost as if Lethal we Weapon happened in a Somerset. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's, uh, yeah. it's Midsummer Murders directed by Tony Scott. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, we have a trailer to show you. Oh, I'm this. And when is Hot Fuzz out? Uh, February the 16th. Okay, well, it's a way off, but we're going to show you. It's a sneak peek now. I can't wait for it. This is Hot Fuzz coming next year. Can't wait. Uh, OK, uh, the guys here, as you can see, is a lovely concept together. You can see that uh, on the big screen in the new film, The Big Nothing. It opens on uh, December the 1st. Mm -hmm. How lovely to see you again, Simon. You too. Congratulations on the new movie. Congratulations. I can't wait to see Hot Fuzz. And also, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, fat, Run, Fatty, fatty Wonder Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Move it, lard -ass. There's another title for you right there. How about that one? Uh, David, lovely to see you again. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, David Schwimmer and Simon Perry. Thank you guys. Yes, we do believe in you. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. That was great, thank you. Isn't that great, though? Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. Okay, Simon Pegg and David Schwimmer, ladies and gentlemen.